guys and welcome back today we're gonna oh this is gonna be a long one we're going to uh, re uh or paint paranormal activity the lost soul <laughs> that was a long title now it's, it wasn't too long but anyway this is a game that's actually developed for VR. Uh, I played it on normal PC. Um, basically, you are this person who comes home. I think you are supposed to come home. Basically, you're going in, uh, you're going home, and then in this house, you basically, the whole game is, uh, is in this actual house. It's actually in the house. Um, so basically, you come in, and then you realize that there are some things that are not completely as it should be. Uh, and as, uh, the further in in the game you go, you realize that you have uh, there's a girl running around here, and she is continuously t actually she's probably not that happy. She's probably kind of sad. Um, so she tells you first off, she gives you a journal uh, that you will use uh, throughout this game, and then she tells you that uh, she will catch you. Um, she explains that there's someone who is after you, and. Uh, kind of insinuate that something is after you and then you 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 <laughs> you basically have to get into this house you have to look for items in this journal you will see like you have one two five one two three five six actually it's six items it's supposed to be a six um you have six items that you need to find throughout the game so basically you're going from room to room uh, in, in hopes of trying to find these items. Uh, in some places, it's not very clear exactly what you're supposed to do, which it, it kind of made me a little bit like having to run around in an empty house with no clue of what your objective is. More than you have this one page in your journal that says item one, two, three, four, five. It, it's, it's not said clearly either. It's more of like, you have a picture of certain things and and you have these things here that is is good to find for example and so throughout this game you will have to find these things and, and they are really imperative that you find them because if you don't do it you cannot finish the game uh yeah the the, the thing is this, your your goal is to just find these items to uh, to open up to the final scene more or less and then in the final scene, then you have to do some kind of quick time events, um, which I failed the first time, but <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's basically that. And throughout this game, there's also at certain points in this game, there are things that will chase you. There are very much uh, spooky um, aspects to this game where there, there might be items moving uh, by themselves. There are sounds that is kind of really intense in some places um i do believe that this game is definitely better to play in vr because uh, there's a lot of mechanical issues with it when i'm playing it on pc for example there are some controls are really wonky and um, my character models are often getting stuck in things which i could assume is better on vr there's like i said certain mechanical things that you need to do on pc that would make sense in a VR set, but on PC it just doesn't. Um, I gave this game a 4 out of 10. It is it is a little bit spooky. Uh, it's not so much jump scare spooky, uh, but the whole atmosphere of the game is actually kind of uh, a little bit intimidating, uh, I would say. Um, so yeah, 4 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, then well, you're just gonna have to watch me dance awkwardly once again.